Hi there. My name is Adam Hodge, and I'm the uh, manufacturer's representative for Dow Chemical. And today we're going to talk about fluid formulation of lubricants, some of the basics of that, and also go over fluid analysis and how that uh, that is important to keeping your machine maintained. There are three main functions of a compressor fluid. There's three main things it must do when it's in the machine. Number one is to keep your bearings lubricated. Uh, this is very important because that's where you, you want to make sure you avoid any bearing wear. Next is to seal the rotor. Uh, without compressor fluid, you actually wouldn't create a uh, airtight seal. It needs that film to compress the fluid. And third, you need to control the heat. A lot of heat uh, is caused by the compression of the air. We want to make sure we dissipate that and uh, keep our temperatures under control because high temperatures, once you start pushing above 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you can have issues with viscosity. Uh, you can have also, you shorten the fluid life as well. So these are the three main things it must perform on. Some other important uh, functions are to operate varnish free. Varnish is your leading cause to air end failure. So varnish, not only does it, uh, when you start to form varnish, start to varnish up your coolers, it leads to higher temperatures. Uh, it also causes a power penalty for you uh, for getting the air that you need. You also want to have low oil carryover. So uh, when you have higher oil carryover, you have more fluid that is going downstream, affecting your equipment, but also costing you more in top off fluid. You want to have a high flash point, a safe flash point, and most of the fluids out there have this. And you also want to have good compatibility with your air system. Uh, you want to make sure it's not too aggressive on your seals, your solenoids, your goes, your gaskets, and causes any deterioration, which could lead to leaks. So this list uh, will review the different types of base stocks up at the top you see there. And for the most part, uh, most of the formulations out there will fall into one of these categories. Uh, and this lists out the different categories and how they perform on each. So it's good to understand what you have in your machine so you can be aware of the potential drawbacks of it uh, and how to compensate for that. Now, sampling your fluid is, is, is very important. Uh, it's recommended to do it annually, but there are a lot of customers out there who do it quarterly so they can keep good track of, their, uh, of the performance of their fluid. You want to make sure you have everything so there's, it's not deteriorating, it's not going acidic, it's not forming varnish. Uh, you want to make sure you identify it basically for predictive maintenance or preventative maintenance so that you avoid any unscheduled downtime, any uh, unnecessary damage to your machine, uh, and it also helps optimize the compressor. Some of the fluid measurements are listed here. Uh, just a note, if you're looking at some companies who may test a synthetic hydrocarbon, they'll test different, uh, different ranges and different specs than they would if they were testing like a polyglycol, like a solub, or a hydrotreated hydrocarbon like uh, your SRF products. But for the most part, these are the main identifiers. So pH shows warning signs of corrosion and wear on the bearings. Your TAN, your total acid number or acid number indicates the remaining useful life of the fluid. And your viscosity, which is the thickness of the fluid, um, is also measured so that it's within spec for the machine. Most times, if you have an issue with viscosity, it'll be tied to a pH or an acid number as well. Your FTIP shows you um, the information on the additives. When you get higher temperatures, you tend to burn off those additive packages. And sometimes they're, uh, they have viscosity additives or uh, other additives which are drastically affect the performance. Even though it's only 3 to 5%, you want to make sure that the acid or the, um, the additive package is, is is in shape and, and healthy and, and on track for its, for its rated life. Water levels are also important. And then your ICP uh, shows the quality of the elements associated with wear, contamination, and additives. So one thing to remember is that the compressor fluid is the life bread of your air compressor. It's not just putting oil in your machine. That's not the way you want to look at it. The condition of your fluid is very important. The type of fluid that you put in is very important. And continuously sampling it lets you chart out and determine where the performance is so you can lead to the longer life of your errand. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the aftermarket at Celera.com. And thank you for listening.